Hello cookbook friends, this is Carrie with Cookbook Divas, and it's long past time for us to look through the other Anne of Green Gables cookbook. There was one published in 2020 or 2021. This one is by Kate McDonald and L.M. Montgomery, of course. It is a little bit of a children's cookbook. It came out in 2017. Uh, adults can enjoy it too, but I noticed some of the instructions inside were like, instead of saying take the item out of the oven, it says put on your mitts and remove it from the oven. <laughs> this is Charming Recipes from Anne and her friends in Avonlea. The publisher is Race Point. In memory of my mom and dad, says the author, all, let's check out the table of contents and the font is so tiny that I'm going to grab my reading glasses. Recipes from Anne of Green Gables is the first chapter. Second is Recipes from Anne of Avonlea, and then Recipes from Anne of Windy Poplars, and Recipes from L.M. Montgomery's Kitchen. Nice. So here's the introduction. And of course the requisite picture of the Green Gables house at PEI, Prince Edward Island. Cooking tips. Getting started, read the recipe two or three times, gather all the ingredients, how to add eggs, how to separate eggs, frosting, etc. So good for beginner cooks like teenagers. Cooking terms, defining things like boil. Now here we go, recipes from Anne of Green Gables, and I can't show you the whole cookbook. I'll just pick a few fun things. Here's puffy apple dumplings. They look delicious. It says prep time, 30 minutes, total time, an hour, 10 minutes, yield six dumplings. That's a lot of work for only six dumplings. I would want to, <laughs> I would want to double that. Then they have a little quote where they f we find the food in the book. And Shirley, chapter 11 or 2? I think it's chapter, I don't know. Chocolate caramels. Sunshiny corn souffle. I would definitely make that. In fact, I might make that for dinner. It sounds good. Butter, cheddar cheese, milk, flour, green bell pepper, corn, eggs. Yeah, I've got all the ingredients. Light and creamy vanilla ice cream. Lots and lots of instructions on that one. <laughs> And the quote here is, and we had the ice cream. Words fail me to describe that ice cream. Marilla, I assure you it was sublime. Anne Shirley, which they misspelled Anne Shirely. Chapter 14. Hmm. Tantalizing raspberry tarts. And another picture of the Green Gables. Gilbert's hurry up dinner. Maritime ginger snaps. Yum. Raspberry cordial. You knew there was going to be a recipe for that in here. The book wouldn't be complete without it. Marilla's plum pudding. Chocolate goblins food cake. And the quote is from chapter 21. I dreamed last night that I was chased all around by a fearful goblin with a big layer cake for a head. <laughs> and another quote from the book. I love the flowers on the edge of the page. Uh, Anne's liniment cake. Wow. Okay. I think we're in another chapter. Miss Stacy's baked macaroni. Matthew Cuthbert's yummy biscuit sandwich. With tomatoes. Yum. Davy and Dory's, Dora's monkey faces. I think I'm just skipping through some chapters here. A lemonade recipe, although we shouldn't need a recipe to figure that out, but maybe a teenager would. A splendid lettuce salad. Saucy chicken. How about, oh, cowcumber boats <laughs> and creamy butterscotch pudding. I love butterscotch pudding and I've only ever made it using a Jell-O mix, which is one of the only vegetarian products that Jell-O makes because it doesn't actually use gelatin. So, but I could make it from scratch. Ooh, brown sugar. Here's recipes from Anne of Windy Poplars, such as coconut macaroons and orange angel cake nice for spring recipes from lm montgomery's kitchen itself how about north rachel lynn's north shore fish cakes and fire and dew sweet potatoes and that is where the book is marked from the last person at the library apparently made those or was looking at them green gables shepherd's pie this is adorable. I'm so glad I looked through it. I hope you enjoyed a quick preview of this cookbook. You can see more of them on the Cookbook Divas YouTube channel and on our blog at cookbookdivas.com. We have a podcast where we talk about cookbooks and we post cookbook news and photos to Instagram and Facebook. Check us out there. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.